a museum isn't about objects. There's a load of objects in a museum, but a museum is actually about the people who made the objects or the people who use the objects. When you know about the person or you know how they were used, then it creates a humanity to those objects. Now, to some extent, it's probably a golden age for museums at the moment. There's money going to museum education and we're opening up access. And I think there's a real feeling that these that our museums and galleries actually belong to the people who visit them rather than being kind of closed door institutions. It's about 14 activities and it's all different ways of looking at museums so you kind of look at it in an alternative kind of way. So there's a trail where you've got lots of historic photos of the museum like 100 years ago and you go and try and stand in the same place and see what's changed or hasn't. We're going around with kaleidoscopes and torches and not like this one. This is some dice. And it's got lots of different things on it. So you shape the dice and then you have to find an object. So a hard, ugly, low-down object or a heavy, small object that you've seen before. museums with our families when we're very young and we go with our schools and actually as we get older we go less and less you go less at secondary school than you did at primary school and it seems like the message we might be sending out is as you grow up you shouldn't be visiting museums so it's kind of up to us to turn that around what do they learn once they're in here I think there's um, I think there's a lot about uh, image and identity when you're in a museum about discovering something about yourself. We're all thinking about where we come from and who we are, whether that somewhere is, I don't know, Nottingham or um, Uganda or New Zealand or wherever it is. And you can come in and you can find things in museums like the Pit Rivers that will make a personal connection to who you are. And I think that's, I think that's quite important. When people come in here, um, and they have come from another country, the objects from their country kind of light up like beacons. They walk past them and it is, it's almost like they're flashing on and off. And I think being with people when they see those things and then they say, this is how that object's used or this is how I understand it. And I learn something from that. I like that it's a jewelry because I like the way it dangles and it makes a sound when you wear it and the jewels are really pretty. <laughs> I grew up in Oxford, so um, I, was, uh, I guess I came as a child. I can remember opening, it's some draw, there's lots of lovely drawers to open in the Pit Rivers, and I can remember opening some drawers upstairs that had spoons and forks and things like that in them, and it was just this really strange thing that you just open this drawer and it's full of spoons, and that's kind of my strong memory, and I still show people those drawers as a good way of kind of explaining what the Pit Rivers is. So if you really want to describe what any museum is about, and particularly maybe the Pit Rivers, um, then you start talking about the stories that go with the museum, about the bean of invisibility and how the guy who used it thought he was invisible and tried to rob a house and dropped the bean and ran away and left his clothes behind, or the witch in a bottle, or the Hawaiian feather cloak made out of two million feathers, or the meaning of West African masks, about the kind of spiritualism, spiritualism of them, or the magic potato from Cowley, um, the people used to carry around in their pockets to cure rheumatism. But there's a lot of stories out there, and I think that's the exciting thing. As soon as you start talking about the stories, you can kind of see the people and feel what they're doing and get, not understand their emotions, but begin to compare how you feel to how you think they might have felt about things. And that brings it to life. People were different in the past, and we've evolved from that. And, and I think it's good that other people should know that just made this from just a plank of wood. I find that just amazing. Um, my favourite one is going to be the big bird because I just find that, it's, I just find it incredible how people can just manage to carve um, a piece of wood into something like a work of art. Thank you very much. 
I have the best classroom in the world because my classroom is the Pitt Rivers Museum. Thank you.